Good morning, YouTube. To all my American friends, happy 4th of July. To everybody else around the world, just happy Tuesday. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm gonna take a few shots with my favorite Grizzly. Well, they're all my favorite, what am I saying? Uh, the 69 Grizzly, the 40 pound one. It's very comfortable for me to shoot. Also, I wanted to show you this. It is an old Oneida Strike Eagle. Kind of afraid to shoot it right now because it's set at such a high poundage. It's set at like 75 pounds. Uh, this goes from, I think, 60 to 80. And I got to do some research because on my Oneida, there's like a screw down here or actually up here where I got to loosen it and that loosens up the timing cables and then I can change the poundage and everything and then the timing cables move and I'm thinking it's going to be this star washer thingy here but I got to do some research to see if that's what I got to loosen and stuff before I start monkeying around with it. I've been warned that it's a very super loud bow probably not suitable for hunting but it'll still be fun to play with in the backyard I think once I get it set to my, po my poundage so I got about two hours of sleep just because you know the neighbors were out shooting fireworks all night into the early hours of the morning and uh, so we'll see how the shooting goes today all right that wasn't so bad that was only about 12 yards I want it now if some of you have been wondering why I haven't been shooting the recurs on the channel as much as I used to. Something happened about six months well, back in January. I tore something in my shoulder. I haven't gone to the doctor for it. I hate doctors. I don't really go to the doctor. And it hurts like hell to shoot the recurs for some reason. It does not bother me as much to shoot the Adapt or the Oneida Phoenix. I'm guessing because of the let off on them. I'll take that too. I'm guessing because of the let off on them. Uh, so anytime I shoot the recurves, it's it really hurts. Uh, that last video of me on the on the 3D range with the uh, Kodiak Hunter, I couldn't raise my arm above my shoulder for two days after that video. So that's why I haven't been shooting as much of the Reekers. I still love them. Um, I shoot the real low poundage ones, the you know the 30 pound bows, a lot because it doesn't hurt as much. Oh, see, I just jerked that one way high. When you're in pain and you're shooting. It, uh, it's no fun. And then one more thing I wanted to, to say. This channel, which may be coming to an end pretty soon, not for any bad reasons, but because my son's coming home and this channel was just to keep him, you know, up to date on what's going on. You're coming home in November. Uh, but it's all about positivity. There was a gentleman that, you know, at first I got along great with, who's a great archer, but it was all about who was better at this and who's better at that and how far you can shoot and all this other stuff and how, there we go, there's a hard shot. All about how if, if you didn't shoot a bear bow, you weren't nothing and all that stuff. and. I don't know, YouTube doesn't allow me to block people. Um, but it had something called like hide them from your channel or something like that, which I think is like blocking. So I actually had to do that with this gentleman. So if, if you're coming on the channel, hey, that's cool. Watch, don't watch, don't. Like I said, I made this channel just for my son. And it's 
not like I'm trying to make a living doing this and I'm not trying to make people be or think that I'm like an expert at anything because I'm not. I know a little about a lot, but I know a lot about very little. So I, don't know, I guess I was just trying to say that just be nice. If you're a much better shot than me, hey, cool. If you're a much better shot than my other listeners, this gentleman was also like making comments to like my other followers and stuff, and that's what made me block him. I don't really care what he says to me, but he was he was saying stuff to other people that were in my comments section, and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I did hide him from the channel. I haven't heard from him since, so I'm guessing that worked. Uh, but let's just try to keep things positive. We never know how much longer we have in this planet and why live in negativity. I wish it didn't take me so long to learn that, but here we are. So there you go, there's a few shots with the Grizzly, one terrible shot, the rest were all decent. Um, gonna go inside, enjoy the rest of the fourth, probably get the motorcycle out and go for a ride real quick. Hope you all are doing good and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, bye.